So, um, first off, what I, I'm making here is some organic beef burgers, and this is what we eat for every meal. So this is organic beef burgers. Um, I'm, I'm gonna turn this on between um, eight and seven here. But what I put in here was some canna oil. So what it is, is it's organic avocado oil. The only stuff in here is the avocado oil in this that's ours. All this other stuff we do not eat. That is complete garbage. Then I have these three seasonings I like. So like, I like oregano, thyme, and rosemary. So I got two pans going here because I have a cast iron skillet coming on the way from Amazon. That is the ideal way I like to cook is with a cast iron skillet. This is the beef we're using. We get this from Whole Foods. Uh, it's Eel River. We like the 93%. If I could even get a, a higher percentage of beef, I would. Like if I could get 95%, if they had 98%, I would. But this is all I can find is 93 we want 60% of our diet to come from proteins and 20% only from fat. So you really gotta keep your fat in check. But the biggest thing you wanna do is have no sugar. We do a no sugar diet. So we do, I, I'm gonna break these into four burgers here and I'm gonna put these in the pans and I'm gonna talk about our diet as these are cooking here. I have to do these two pans because I my big one is on its way. So this one is the little dinky one. So I just make these like little burgers. It's not too hard. I just break up this into four. And then I just, um, if I had a bigger pan, I would make them flatter. Uh, like, you know, like more like a burger. But since these pans are so small, they have to be bigger. But it's really simple. You just take it and you just split it into four like that and then you got your burgers flatten them a bit if you have a big pan flatten them real nice but we have a small pan so they won't fit if i flatten them too much so these are going to be fat burgers so we got eight of them here I'm gonna season on both sides. So at first I have these at really high temperature and then we'll bring that down and then it, it, it hopefully will be easier to hear. It won't be sizzling so loud. Basically we need to sear each side of the burger here. And I season each side. So I'm gonna let those sit for a second. All right, so the reason why we eat this, and this is what we eat for every meal, is because we found that sugar causes cancer. Okay, I was bulimic for about 15 years, and I ate an all sugar diet, basically. When you're bulimic, you're eating pretty much all sugar because you're vomiting everything else, and the only thing that's digesting is sugar. And you also choose generally really sugary options because those are just easier to kind of eat and vomit. And same with people that are overweight, often they're choosing very sugary options. So when I talk about bulimia, you can relate it, even if you've never been bulimic, to if you just overate. So very similar. So I'm going to give these a flip. Um, yeah, so these got real nice. And we, we just cook it real high, at high temp for just a little bit to just uh, do each side, kind of give it a sear on each side. And now this pan sticks a little, so I'm getting a new one. So this one, there, we get a little bit of stickage coming on here. It's not the best of pan. We're getting a new one. We got a, from Lodge, a cast iron coming from Amazon in the mail. Do this guy a flip here. Okay, it didn't stick too bad. Oh, this is sticking a little bit. Okay, we're going to let those here on that side, and then we'll bring the heat down. But, I thought that sugar at first just made me fat. But now, as we're looking into it, we find that sugar actually causes cancer. Because at first, when we changed our diet, we did it because uh, we found that we felt better and we lost weight when we cut out the sugar. But now we realize it's, 
it's deeper than that because sugar causes basically every disease. We're finding that you can actually live on a diet with no sugar. You do it by eating just animal protein. We do animal beef here, organic animal meat, and then you're living by, you're getting your energy through ketones. So guys, I'm gonna bring this down now to, uh, to five. I started about in between seven and eight and then bring it down to five after I've seared both sides. Now we're gonna let those cook for a while on, on five. And I leave it at five for the remainder of the time. I would say anywhere from 15, 20 minutes for the burgers, depending on how big they are, depending on your oven. But we're gonna let these kind of... Uh, what we're finding now, what's going through the moon is we have an influx in people being bulimic because as the food has gotten worse, since the 80s, and what I mean by worse is, in the 80s, they convinced everyone that, um, I can hold this up, um, in the 80s, they convinced everyone that fat was an issue, and they put everyone on low-fat diets, so they thought, cut out the fat, and what they had to do, fat is very tasty, so when they cut out the fat, they had to add sugar. Well, we now are seeing the effects of this, you know, 20, 30 years later of the obesity going through the moon and um, cancer. We have more cancer uh, cases and um, diabetes and heart disease and all these things. And at first they wanted to say it was due to fat. That's why they changed it. But now they're finding after they change that, we have more problems. And so in 2015, the American Heart Association actually said they were wrong about that it was due to fat. It's not. And it's actually due to sugar. All of these heart conditions, diabetes, a lot of these diseases, and now we're finding cancer is. So here's the thing. Everyone wants to worry about what the cause of cancer is, and there's many causes. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter what causes cancer. The bottom line is sugar is what feeds cancer. So if you're eating a diet that is a sugar-based diet, you are giving cancer fuel. So when you eat a diet like we eat, you can never give cancer the fuel, so there's no way cancer can survive. So on this diet, what happens is your ketones are giving you the energy, and you're converting your fat into energy, and then you're also converting protein into energy. And you are never getting this influx of all this sugar coming into your body, which causes quite a few things besides even the disease things. Just in the sense of like the emotional and the psychological ups and downs because you get like, you it's a drug. So you're going to have these intense highs and lows and then you're also going to have withdrawal. Because sugar is highly, highly addictive. Uh, the reason why it's the most addictive is because it is the only drug that you need to survive, like, in theory, like, where I said you need, like, the amount that you would convert through meat to survive. But in big amounts, it's completely lethal to you. And so people have this weird conception when they say, oh, you need sugar to survive, that means that they think you need to eat sugar in any form. No. Never should you really consume sugar. I mean, there's no need for it. You can get your the amount of sugar you need to survive through your ketones, through meat. So we eat an all-beef diet. This is what we eat for every single meal. And we don't get tired of people. How can you eat the same thing? Because when it's what your body needs, then it tastes amazing always. Because, and it's not about taste, it's like, Taste is, um, when I say delicious, that means it's nutritious. So when I go, this is delicious, that means I feel the nourishment. And I'm like, wow, I can feel the nourishment of this coming into my body. That's delicious. But when other people think of delicious, they think of sugary things of like that being important. Like a lot of chefs only talk about something being delicious instead of nutritious. So with our food, this is delicious and nutritious. Now, you might not find this delicious because if you're used to sugar, this is not delicious. This is just really natural. Like you saw, oh, I only put thyme, oregano, and rosemary, and a little bit of the organic avocado oil, and then the burgers. So, 
But when you start to eat this way, you're going to find that when you eat something like this, you are just so satisfied that you go, wow, this is just delicious. You know what I mean? And this is what chefs need to be cooking, but instead they're making all this sugar-based stuff with all these crazy things like this, you know, all this pasta stuff. This girl just got famous for making some pasta thing that Chef Ramsay commented on. But it's all that stuff is causing cancer. And the majority of these chefs and celebrities are also bulimic. So they're not telling you that they're also being bulimic while they're making or eating these things. So there's this girl on YouTube that her whole uh, premise of her thing is she claims that she does diets and then she, you know, shows you the results of it and tells you about it so you can, you know, then evaluate if you want to do that diet. But she's actually lying because I can tell she's bulimic. And for many reasons I can tell she's bulimic. But one thing is a girl, she's a very cute, you know, blonde girl. No girl is going to subject themselves to all these crazy fad diets if they weren't throwing up because... It, I mean, it would be dumb to do that, to be honest, because you should not be subjecting your body through changes. That's the one thing you should keep consistent. See, it is very good to change things in your life, but the one thing that should not be changed all the time is food. But that's the one thing people think they want variety on. They go, oh, I want a different meal every day. But no, actually keeping food consistent is really, really smart because your body knows exactly what it is. It knows exactly what it needs. It like every day you can like, you don't have to like try to figure out because you pretty much just eat the same thing. And once in a while, maybe you'll eat a tad more, a tad less, but it's not this, what am I going to eat? What do I need to eat? It's just really easy for the brain to just know, okay, that was food. Now we don't have to think about food again. Let's think about other things in life. But when you base your whole life around food, then your brain all day is thinking about that. When you don't, and then you don't have time to think about anything else. So you're like, what am I going to eat? How many calories is that? Oh, is that going to make me fat? Uh, da, 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 all day long. Um, you know, the bulimics, it's a uh, constant, constant, 24-7 thought of food unless you literally maybe are intoxicated. And that's why bulimics often like to be intoxicated. But if they're intoxicated with alcohol, they usually start eating again. Because a lot of times al al when you drink alcohol, all people will eat. Um, so they just want this release from this constant obsession with the food. But they will never get that when they're eating sugar. Because sugar will always make you obsessed because sugar is a drug and it's highly addictive. So what you're experiencing when you feel that you're really hungry is you're actually experiencing sugar withdrawals. You think like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. But what it is is you, your body wants sugar because you've gone X amount of time without sugar. So when I talked about the two ways you can get sugar to survive is you can do it through a carb sugar diet or you can do it through a keto diet. Now, when I say keto, it's not what most people are thinking. Most people think you can do keto and you can do all these veggies and fruits and things. No, a true keto diet is only meat. Only meat. That's it. Then you're truly living off your ketones. If you do any carbs, any sugar, you now are going back to a carb diet. You are no longer in ketosis. You are not using your ketones to convert your fat um, and the protein to energy and uh, break it down to glucose to live off of. If you're doing a sugar-based diet, if you're doing any fruit, any veggies, anything, that's what I mean by sugar, anything, anything other than meat is sugar. You are going from sugar to sugar, so you are going to go through withdrawal. So you're going to feel hungry in between meals because your body wants the sugar for more energy. Whereas when you do this, you don't feel hungry in between meals because your body figured out how to convert your fat and the protein to energy so you no longer need sugar to do that for you. 
and you say, well, that seems like a lot more work. Why don't I just do the sugar? Well, you can see why we're not just doing the sugar because then we have obesity levels that we've never seen before. We have cancer levels we've never seen before. Diabetes, through the immune heart disease, all these things. You know what else is highly related to sugar is acne and skin problems. As soon as I went on this diet, my skin cleared up and I very rarely get blemishes. I don't wear any skin makeup and I rarely, I mean, I have, I have this thing where I have these rosy cheeks, um, but they used to be where I, I had very bad broke out. I'd have to always wear cover up because I would have just zits all the time. That was due to my diet because um, I was eating a high sugar diet and always did, you know, I always did. I love fruits and veggies and I love coffee. Uh, caffeine is also an issue. Um, I have, you cannot have caffeine, so if you're on one of these keto diets and you're doing caffeine, well then that's not working either. That's throwing off your whole keto diet because uh, what caffeine does is caffeine, uh, people think it actually gives you energy or actually makes you not hungry. Well then you're not producing as much insulin, so your blood sugar rises. When your blood sugar rises, your body starts producing more insulin. The problem with insulin is insulin tells your body to store fat. And in high doses, insulin can be lethal. Like when someone's diabetic, they have to be very careful the amount of insulin they take. They're actually finding that diabetics, that the insulin that they're taking for diabetics is probably one of the cancer-causing things that actually by taking insulin, that's causing cancer. And then when they're continuing to eat the sugar, the sugar is feeding the cancer. Because what they do is a lot of these diabetics, especially diabetes too, is they continue to eat sugar, they just take, a, uh, they take insulin, but they don't stop eating sugar. Sugar doesn't necessarily cause cancer, it may or may not, that's not what we're talking about, but what it does is it feeds cancer. Babies, you know, children, it doesn't matter, it's not like, oh, it's an age thing, it's like, no, I have, um, I, I don't know what you call your cousin's child, if that second cousin, but um, he just died at nine years old of cancer, and I know that my cousin is bulimic, and she was giving him too much sugar. She, they gave him so much sugar, and they thought, oh, well, he's dying of cancer, so give him what he wants, and I can see he's a twin. He was substantially chubbier than his brother, so he was getting more sugar than his brother, because you go give him ice cream, give him cake. You know, if a child is suffering, you think, give him sugar, but now we're finding that actually is killing them. So our food is done here, and let me plate it. These ones will be for Jedi Rich over here. Those will be Jedi Rich's, and these will be mine. Right I'm kind of a neat freak. You need minerals, so we only drink water, but it's very good to get minerals. But so um, some of them have more sodium than other ones. Some of them have zero. So we've been trying to do some of the ones with zero, but. Um, but it is nice to get the minerals. Like this, we got water. And that's it, and then the beef. And that's our diet, you guys. That's our whole diet. That is it. Like, people think, oh, you have fruits and veggies or whatever. No, 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 just the beef and the water. Like I'm still a day old, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a roly or second. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get up or get out, get down. Open and down. I am Black Jedi. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out.